what's up guys in this video i will show you how to fix any sound or audio issue on your hisense smart tv so if the sound of your tv is not working at all or the audio quality is ridiculously poor then this video is going to be a very helpful one for you today i'll be taking you through some steps that might help you fix this problem and i encourage that you, you try each and every one of them so first things first, you want to make sure that your TV is not on mute and the volume is actually okay. Because sometimes you might have mistakenly pressed the mute button and you did not know. So you want to come to your remote. In my remote over here, you can see the mute button over here. So you want to be sure that your TV is not on mute. Another thing you want to try is to check the volume of the TV. You want to check if it is not, you know, very low and you probably did not know about this. Now, if you've tried these steps and the audio or the sound of your TV is still poor or it actually does not work at all, then another thing you want to do is to reset the sound of your smart TV. Now, to do this, you just have to come to the top bar here, go to settings on the TV and then go to sound. Now you click on it and then you want to go to sound mode settings now once you click on it you want to screw down to where you get reset current mode now this enables you to automatically reset the sound of the tv and brings everything back to default now if that did not work for you another thing you want to try is to go to the audio output of your tv now you want to make sure that if your tv is actually connected to say a sound bar or a speaker or any external um speaker at all you want to make sure that it is connect it is set to bluetooth speaker now that is if the t the, the speaker is connected through bluetooth you want to make sure that it is set to bluetooth speaker and if it is connected through maybe a HDM hdmi cable then you want to make sure that it is left at arc and if you're using the actual speakers from the tv then you want to leave it on the tv speakers but if your tv is not connected to any external speaker you want to make sure that it is on the tv speaker now if that did not also work for you and maybe the vol and maybe the quality of your sound is still poor what you want to do is to go to the sound mode setting and make sure that the sound mode it, sound mode is left to standard now these are different options that you might want to put your tv but if you find out that the quality is not just good or it is just ridiculously poor then you want to make sure that it is left to standard now if all of that did not work for you another thing you want to do is simply for you to soft restart the tv now this is actually one of the best thing you could do and how to do this is simply for you to turn off the tv and then unplug it from the power source and then on the power button that is on the body of the tv you just want to pr long press on the power button for about five seconds now after you must have long pressed on it for about five seconds you want to leave the tv for about 30 minutes and then you plug back the tv to the power source and then you try turning it on again and see if it fixes the audio issue finally the last option that you might have is simply for you to factory reset your tv now this is not an a very good option but it is actually the last result if the sound is still giving you issue and it's yeah and you're not sure what the problem is what you want to do is simply for you to go to the settings of your tv at the top bar here and then you want to scroll down till you get to um support and then you want to scroll down again until you get to reset to factory default now what this does if you, in case you do not know is simply you know for you to clear up everything on the tv and make it start as though it is brand new now every single thing on the tv will be cleared so you probably have to you know go through all of the setup processes again and logging into all of your apps again but what this does is simply for you know it's simply to clear up everything on the tv you know and makes it makes it to start as though it is brand new majority of the time this might actually solve your issue that will be all on how to fix the audio or sound issue on your Hisense Smart TV. If this video was helpful, guys, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.